What's going on, everybody? It's, uh, I think it's July 30th, Saturday. I got home after a long dead game week and a doctor's appointment Friday. Um, I got to do all four cemeteries that we mow um, this weekend. And so I'm putting some LED lights on the Kubota 725s. Um, right, my shop is a mess, I know, but it is what it is. Right here on the uh, rollover bar, there's a pre-drilled bolt hole. And on the back side, uh, there's a fuel connection and there's a bolt through it. It's tapped into the bar. I've already drilled this one out with a step bit. Probably can't see here, you can see daylight through it. Drilled that one out with a step bit. And I drilled the threaded side out on the back side with a step bit. I've already got uh, this one light here mounted. These are just Tractor Supply El Cheapos. Um, and I'll straighten them up once I get them mounted. They're gonna look pretty cool. I'm concerned with, you know, the visibility, but the only other place to mount them is right down here. Um, you know, right here, uh, they won't fit here. I'd have to drill another hole right here, but uh, you're only gonna throw a light at ground level for however far it goes. So I've got, I've got these takeoff light bars from something else and I'm gonna, uh, make a quick bracket that bolts right here and grabs the side of these. If I can find some bolts that fit, I think I've got some around this mess of a shop. And wire these two in, cause I'm gonna have to mow, uh, you know, really late into the night for uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Cause I'm gonna have to get back up at like three o'clock Monday morning and drive all the way back to work. So I'll, uh, I said, this is just kind of the dumb stuff I do when I'm home. Um, you know, these two mowers are really good. Um, and like I said, you'll have to excuse my shop. I know it's a mess. I've got mowing equipment and a four-wheeler that we never ride because I'm not ever off work. This old Dixon here has got a ton of hours on it. But I tell you what, that is a mowing son of a gun right there. That is a good mower. Um, I've had it since 2005. Um, the hour meter quit working a long time ago. It's 27 horse, horizontal engine. Um, one end drives, the one end of the crank drives the blades and the other end of the crank drives the transmission motors. Um, 60 inch cut. Um, it's getting hard to find parts for it, so that's why I don't run it a lot. And like I said, I know it's it looks a little rough, but I kid you not, that is a mowing son of a gun. That engine still runs great. Um, I've had it since it was new. It's just, I bet that mower's got 30,000 miles on it. Uh, little 125 that we use for real small stuff um small frame size 54 inch cut and then the 725s i've got two of them uh 25 horse colors with uh 60 inch uh cut um these are our primary our primary mowers um these are these are just awesome machines i, I really love them kubota makes a great a great gas mower uh, ground speeds fast the older one right here is a couple of years older than than the front one it doesn't have a suspension seat uh, I run it my wife runs the 725 with suspension seat um, and I've got uh, I don't know I've got steel weed eaters out to yin yang I got an aerator um, there's two more weed eaters over there that I've been putting string in this morning I mean this is this is Frankenstein's lab here. I know it's a mess and there's a ton of crap in here, but when you work 95 or better hours a week, um, you really don't have time to sit here and clean shop. Um, it's already hot. It's, I don't know, it's probably 90 and I'm gonna get these lights put on um, and then uh, load, them, load them up there on the tilt and uh, go mow the rest of the day. Gotta pick my kid up from church camp um, this evening so I'll get a little bit of a break and then I'm gonna go back out about six or so and probably mow till probably mow till 10 o'clock tonight and don't worry about me running over headstones because I won't I've mowed um, I've been mowing for 25 years and uh, I don't run over stuff um, so yeah you know like I said I'm gonna mount these light bars up and uh, 
kind of, you know, if you've got a 725, I'll let you know how these works. This was a hundred dollar light set from Tractor Supply. Um, they have an amber function, which I don't care about, but the the light size and the wiring package and everything was exactly what I wanted. So we picked them up last night. So I'm going to get these put on and uh, go from there. Well, finally getting out here to mow this evening. Had to screw that day like usual, but I got. Some. Uh, I think this place is 11 acres. Now I got to mow this. Goes up over that hill for two more sections. Got to mow this between today and tomorrow, which is not too bad. It's about six or seven hours with two people on it. So we're going to mow it about 10 o'clock tonight with the lights and see how they work. I'll let you know. Other than I just ran out of gas because I guess my gas gauge was stuck. Uh, overall review, the $99 uh, LEDs from Tractor Supply work awesome. And it's, uh, it's 9.48 at night. And we're going to quit because my wife is weaning out on me. Uh, she's waving me off, says she's done being out here in the dark. Uh, I guess a 12 acre, 11 or 12 acre cemetery after dark is just weirding her out too much. Um, and then we've got some nasty storms uh, coming our way, so we're gonna call it a night. But overall, the tractor spot LEDs were uh, were the big W, the win. So got two more hours of work in tonight, and I expect you to get in. So cool. Uh, six, well, like 620 in the morning on Sunday, 1st August already, and where'd the time go? I'm gassing up to go, uh, go try to mow the other cemetery, one of the other ones. Uh, it's like, I don't want to say it's like eight acres. We can usually mow it and four hours it rained a little bit last night so i don't know how much it rained up there it's about 20 miles 20 mile drive but 
to it. My wife, my mowing partner, is still in bed asleep. I told her we needed to be up and gone by six, and she's still uh, asleep. So I um, came down here to fill the mowers up with the fuel wholesale, and uh, I'll go home, wake her up, and we'll go mow. But uh, this is what I do every day. Got in it. I don't know. It was ten fifteen, and. Uh, it's, uh, I got back up about 5.45. I mean, it was, I was 11.30 or midnight when I went to bed, you know. Get back up at 6 or uh, 5.45 and go mow some more. So, this is it every day. Well, we just got through mowing this eight acre cemetery. It is, it's wet. It's been trying to mist on me all morning. It's nasty. But, it's uh it's mowed but it's not weeded i'll have to i'll have to come back next weekend probably and weed eat i gotta go back to work tomorrow so but uh like i said it's it's extra nasty oh mowers are just filthy but uh well this little cemetery here i guess i've been mowing it for five about five or six years um it's old it's the one of the very first ones in this in this area um it's not abandoned or anything um sits up here on a hill uh overlooking i mean nothing it's just there's nothing out here it's just it just overlooks nature there's nothing here there's a couple of pumping units it's oil oil cool stuff but that's you don't ranch there's nothing else up here except the oil it's not that much of that anymore but this cemetery is old the first the first known burial was in 1887 the, there may be some unknowns um, kind of with cemeteries you take the number of graves and multiply it by two or three and that's about how many people's actually buried there but uh, like I said this one's old um, the oldest known birth that I know of like the is 1829 that's out of all the graves in here that's i think that's the oldest birth is 1829 that person was born in 1829 then died um, sometime after the civil war um lots of children from about 1880 on up to 19 late 1930s lots of children um, this is a hard area this was still frontier there's nothing here there's no towns there's no doctors there's nothing just uh just out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs>